up you guys and welcome back to my channel for those of you who are already part of my family thank you so much for being here once again today for those of you who are new welcome my name is Kira Selena I'm a licensed practical nurse and on my channel I mainly talk about nursing and health but we also do a bit of beauty vlogging hair lifestyle financial talk we do a little bit of everything over here so if you don't want to miss out which I strongly strongly recommend that you don't make sure you bang on that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell that way you'll be notified whenever I post so content. ever since I did my last skincare video that video literally blew up and everybody has been asking me key how do you get nice smooth legs how do I get rid of chicken skin how do I get rid of razor bumps on my legs how do I get rid of strawberry legs I just want them nice smooth silky legs that the breads are gonna go crazy over okay and I got you sis now I don't have any crazy secrets some of these are probably remedies things that you guys have heard of before but I'm gonna share them just in case you guys don't know and I hope I can help you get the nice silky smooth legs so the very first tip I have for you and this is what I've done in my personal experience I have literally completely ditched the razor period <laughs> okay I do not use razors on my legs anymore okay I don't want to make it seem like I don't use it at all it's literally life last resort if I do not have any nair and I am literally rushing to go out and I'm about to wear a pair of shorts or something I will use a razor but I have not used the razor in a long time. I have used Nair, and I find that Nair has really, really helped me get nice, smooth skin. Now, um, when you have those stra the strawberry skin, it's literally like, you can basically just see your hair coming out of your skin, and that's really what strawberry skin is. So all you need to do is literally just ditch the razor ditch the razor and try nair now i know a lot of people are very skeptical are very scared about nair if you guys want me to do an actual video showing you guys step by step how to use nair let me know and i'll be sure to do that for you but literally if you could get one of those brushes that you use to dye your hair pour some nair on there apply it onto your skin make sure you have a nice even layer you don't need a lot just a nice even layer and i would say 10 minutes at the max and rinse off if you start to feel that your skin is burning it's time to rinse off but don't allow it to get to that point literally if you look at the cream you will see that your skin your hair will literally be stuck to the surface of the cream and that is how you know that it's time for you to rinse off and then you just go in you rinse off and you shower as usual and that has really really helped me with strawberry skin because it literally just allows the hair to fall right out instead of shaving and sometimes if you shave and your shave isn't close enough or you know you've missed some steps you will see that the hair will start to kind of stick out of your skin and that can, that's what's whoa Panasonic or the Fujitsu. No. That Whoa, that's what gives you the, the ugly strawberry legs. Now, if okay? I do decide to shave, which is honestly really rare, but if I do decide to shave, it's a whole process for me. And my process is extra as well why because i know that shaving can cause razor bumps razor cuts you can get strawberry legs if your shave isn't close enough so it's a literal process for me and what i start by doing is i run my bathtub with some nice hot water and then i go in there and i sit down for about 20 to 30 minutes i sit down in there and what this allows for it just allows for the water to open up my pores it allows to soften the skin to soften the hair so that you get a nice smooth shave right so if you have very coarse leg hairs or maybe even coarse pubic hairs sitting down in that nice hot water for 20 30 minutes will soften that hair and will make it easier for you to shave off but before i shave let me tell you guys exfoliate exfoliate, exfoliate i exfoliate before i shave so after i've sat down in that water now the next step is to get rid of those dead skin cells right and if you have a lot of just dead skin it can also prevent you from getting a nice close shave so before before I shave, I literally just take some white sugar and some lemon. You can use brown sugar as well. I mix it up until it becomes a paste and I literally scrub my skin. And you will see that your skin will literally feel like baby skin a baby's butt after you've done this. And then once I've done that, you know, my pores are nice and open, my hair is nice and softened, all the dead skin is removed, then I can move on to shave. So these are the shavers that I use. This is just by Bic. 
It's the Soleil, Soleil Twilight and it's a three blade. Um, this pack comes with, I think it came with five. And yeah, this is what it looks like. It's just a nice regular shaver. I think I got this for about $10, $12 um, at the pharmacy. And this one has three blades. I think I mentioned that before. So this one gives me a nice close enough shave. And the trick to a nice shave is shaving in the direction that your hair grows in. So if your hair grows upwards, literally just look at your, look at your hairs and you will see. Is if it's growing towards you, then you shave upwards. And if it's growing downwards towards your feet, then you shave the opposite way. And what I try to do is I try not to pass over the same spot more than one time. And I know that it's hard to do that sometimes, but this is why it's so important for you to, you know, sit in the bath, really open up your skin, your open up your pores, soften up those hairs, get rid of those dead skin cells. That way you don't have to pass over the same spot two, three, four times because that's when you start getting cuts. That's when you start getting razor bumps. So do that, sit down in the tub, soak, do everything that I told you guys to do and then you will see that you will get a nice smooth shave and it's not going to be hard for you to shave. You're not going to have to pass over the same spot 10, 20, 30 times to get your skin nice and smooth. You, whoops, for those of you who want to know what shaving cream I use, I either use the EOS brand or sometimes I use the Satin Care. I've been using the Satin Care for a really, really long time, like I think since I was a teen and this one is for sensitive skin because I do have sensitive acne prone skin. So so this is the one that I use along with these shavers. And for those of you who want to know what body wash I use once I'm done, because once I'm done doing all of that, that's when I take my regular shower. Um, I've been addicted to the new Scent Ives Pampering Body Wash, or Scent Eves Pampering Body Wash brand. Um, I have the grapefruit one. I have the oatmeal one. This one is the vanilla and oat milk one. They smell so good. They make your skin feel so nice. They're nice and moisturizing. Holy, holy, holy girl. And lastly, this is the cream I've been using. This is not even my cream. I'm not even gonna say whose cream it is. He knows who he is. But he brought this cream to my house and this right here, this has been making my skin feel so good. Usually I use the Vaseline one with the cocoa butter in it and it smells so, so good. But this one is revitalizing, it's oil infused, it's oil infused and it has vitamin E in it. And it just makes my skin feel so, so, so good. So shout out to you for bringing this over. <laughs> <laughs> Another thing that you guys can do is wax. Waxing is really good because it pulls the hair right out of the root. So you won't see those little hairs sticking out, giving you them strawberry legs that you don't like. So waxing is another alternative. I know it's painful. Um, usually, I'm telling you, the bikini area is a lot more painful than the legs. The legs is actually bearable. And you will see that over time, your hair will start back grow start growing back, um, I was about to say faster, slower um, with waxing. You don't have to go to a spa to get it done. You you can literally just get it at the pharmacy. You can look at, there's a whole bunch of sugar scrub and waxing tutorials here on YouTube that you guys can watch. So you guys can definitely wax and you guys will see a significant, significant difference. With so that. yeah, like I told you guys, I don't have any crazy tips, uh, any crazy secrets or anything like that. All you need to do is really take your time, make sure you're doing things properly and make sure you're using products that work for you. And yeah, you will definitely see a difference in your skin. If you guys have any any other tips that you guys want to add don't forget to leave them down below if you guys are not yet part of the family please join the fam by banging on that subscribe button and turning on your notification bell that way you'll be notified when i post future content i really hope to see you all in my next one bye